so much snow. If only there was a manufacturer who made skis. <laughs> Hey, it's Andre, and welcome back to a flying update. Yes, I said flying. Yes, uh, I got out earlier this week to fly uh, and make some content that will come out later on. And I really hoped to um, fly some more. And uh, we'll, we'll dive into some of the technical difficulties I ran into. But as you saw in that little intro, um, Dubro came through big time and uh, sent me some skis, some various skis. I'm going to throw a coupon code into the bottom uh, where you can get 20% off their ski products. But they've sent along some of their Snowbirds uh, big main gear. Uh, actually, yeah, green. And you can guess what this is going on. The big horn. So that's... Uh, that's fantastic because uh, I had a lot of fun flying the plane that you'll see the video later on uh, early next week. I had a ton of fun flying it on the skis on the snow. The, the conditions were perfect. I mean, failing light, super cold and everything, but the flying was fun. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. Uh, they have the Park Flyer skis, which are a little smaller, which I've got a couple of airplanes which will be used because while well, I'm in winter and I'm going to be flying for a bit. And big wheels so i'm super excited about that one maybe the five inch tires will ride on the big horn this summer and then those four inches can jump over to the challenger so let me put that down thanks guys uh made my day uh seeing the box come in there's a bunch of stickers and everything in there so a couple sets of skis again check out that link 20 percent off uh if you uh buy from them directly ah so I was flying. Uh, COVID restrictions have been reduced a bit for now. <laughs> and uh, it was interesting shooting the review and everything. I actually, uh, it was cold enough that my main cameras worked, but my airborne cameras went down. And I hadn't suffered from that in a long time. So I guess it was cold and probably more damp. So I'm going to watch those guys. A couple suggestions have come in saying make some kind of booty or anything like that to keep them warm. So I might think actually designed something and 3d printed so i can at least keep the velcro on the bottom uh so i can get all my aerial shots i knew it was cold because i had hoped to uh, actually get out and test fly finally all the upgrades that i had done to the defiant renegade and when i plugged in the uh crossfire module my tyrannus my fr sky radio just would boot and, st and it would just go into the boot cycle and just fail so the power draw must have been enough now that was the radio and everything was cold everything was physically cold uh so i've got a feeling it was related to that or maybe i had the power set too high in the module anyhow as soon as i got home and everything warmed up it was fine so it's something i am definitely going to be playing with and uh checking out and everything so ugh, what else did i do and i had a good chuckle i was uh i was getting ready to to fly with my fpv and i realized i had actually ripped the balance tab right off the uh the charge battery on the fat sharks uh so that's you know, it was it was plug it must have been plugged into the port, uh, the fan port. The last time I flew with the goggles on or something, and it just ripped the thing right off. So I went in, and I had to rebuild the connectors and everything. But I was like, oops. Uh, but it was just that's how brittle everything was with the cold. Uh, so flying wise, we're gonna be getting into doing the reviews. Uh, I'm probably gonna go in uh, chronological order at this point. So the next one going out, which potentially could be tomorrow, if not on Sunday will be that little Isheen uh, P51, the 1S, pending how cold it is, and we'll find out if the batteries work on this little guy. And then, obviously, uh, I'm a little behind on this one, but the, um, the H-King uh, Corsair. After that, we have the OMP Challenger and Bighorn, which will be on skis. Thank you, bro, for making that happen. And I, after that, I have to do the unboxing, the builds, and everything of the uh, Zod stuff that uh, Great Hobbies has sent my way. So we're moving along. I'm going to try and spread out all these reviews and everything because otherwise it just gets crazy and overwhelming. And the idea is that uh, we're having a little bit of fun or I'm having a little bit of fun and just shooting content as I'm going. But hopefully the conditions hold out, the COVID restrictions are held off, and I can get 
get out and fly and everything. It was nice. I admit it was super nice and relaxing. I blitzed out and had some sunlight and everything. And I can't wait to release those videos for you guys next week. So, but wait, there's more. I totally forgot. Ali from Hangar 9 podcast Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern on this channel, live streaming for the RC After Hours podcast. Tune in if you're interested. If you got any questions, write them down if you're live we'll try and get through as many as i can so i'm andre thanks for watching the update have a fantastic weekend hope to see you out flying